happy Wednesday everyone. So I'm back and I have another tutorial and unboxing. Um, I got my curated bead box in the mail today and I'm really excited. Um, I saw somebody create something from it on one of the tutorials that I watched and I'm like, oh, I want it. <laughs> and I just had to be patient and wait until I got mine too. So we'll unbox it and then we will design something from this box. I'll be right back. All right, guys, if you're not familiar with the Curated Bead Box, it is a monthly subscription that is full of beads and findings curated together um, to create a theme. So this month's theme is Regal Royal, and it gives you a little list of what is in the box. It also gives you um, the little item numbers that you can type in at dollarbead.com if you were wanting to reorder some of the um, items that you got. Um, it does say on here that bead sizes and types may vary due to availability. So I, I, it has happened to me I think one time that I got like a different bead than what was on the list. So it doesn't happen very often and um, when they when they do replace it with something else it's something very similar to um, to what you would have had. So let's get this box open and I'll tell you a little bit more about it. I haven't even broke the seal yet, you guys. So let's, let's open this up. I'll tell you a little bit more. So I, I have a link in my description and a promo code, it's Wendy35. If you use Wendy35, you'll get 35% off your first month. And that makes your first month right around, I don't know, $13. So if you want to give it a try, it's definitely at a good price point for you to give it a try. And then you just pay the regular price after that. All right, so I'm gonna pause this, open it up so I'm not rattling this in you guys' ears, and I'll be right back. Okay, we're gonna go through our 10 millimeter beads first. So we have 10 millimeter lilac glass, um, Lila, Lila, I'm sorry, 10 millimeter lilac glass pearl bead, eight inch string. Don't think that's that, hold on. It's, sometimes they don't match up all the way. Oh, here it is, here it is, sorry guys. Here, I'm like, that's not lilac. So here, <laughs> here's the, um, the lilac glass pearl beads. That's a really, really pretty color. Then we have 10 millimeter purple crackle frosted beads. Now that's this. So it's the crackle bead, but it is a, like a matte finish or a frosted finish. And that's really cool. I really like that, that they did that, like a little matte finish when everything else, you know, these other beads are real shiny. Then we have 10 millimeter white opaque gemstone bead. So these are a gemstone, it doesn't say what it is, but um, it just says it's a white opaque gemstone bead. Anybody familiar with this one? All right, so I like that white. It has just a little bit of like taupe and gray like swirls in it. So it's really pretty. Then we have eight millimeter, but this is 10. Hmm. I don't know guys. So we have <laughs> eight millimeter lapis lazul gemstone bead. Um, I got 10 millimeter, so maybe they didn't have any more of the eight millimeter and they sent me the 10 millimeter. So that's really cool. So that's, that's what I mean when they substitute. So I didn't get the eight millimeter size, but they gave me the 10 millimeter size instead. And then I have six millimeter purple spot marble style glass bead and I have a 10 inch string. This one is really cool. So it's purple, but it has like some blue flecks in it and white. So that's really cool. It's like a, almost like a, maybe kind of like a turquoisey blue, but more like a sky on the sky blue side. I don't know. It's really pretty though. Very unique. Then we have some six millimeter dark purple glass pearl beads and we get a 16 inch strand. 
I love the pearl beads. Like they're they're just so nice. Like they're very classic looking. And then, wow, we've got another gemstone in here too. So now we have a six millimeter white semi-opaque gemstone bead. So it's it looks like it has like the same kind of patterns in it as the white ones. Like just very, very little bit, little tiny patterns. Huh. Very cool, very cool. All right, and then next we have it's approximately one ounce Regal Designer Designer Glass Bead Mix. So this is their little designer glass bead mix. And it looks like it has um, a bunch of little, different little things in it. So we'll just take a quick peek at it. We have some pink crackle in there. We have some other purple, like marble style. We have um, the little glass beads that have little stripes on them, little silver stripes. So there's that little mix. Then we have 12 millimeter Blue Moon Galaxy glass beads and you get six beads. Oh, these are really neat. So they have that really pretty, like iridescent, different color shine to them. And these are nice, big, chunky beads. I like those. Those are really pretty. Then we have 14 by 10 millimeter milky white glass oval beads and you get eight beads. I love these beads. I've had these once before through them and I wanna say they were probably my favorite beads. I love that like, it's almost like an opal look to it, you know, where it's just that nice milky, um, glossy shine and it's just so pretty. So that's always been one of my favorite beads that I've gotten from this, this subscription. All right, then we have 12 millimeter maroon close beads and you get four beads. Oh, these are really pretty. Oh my goodness, these are nice. I really like those. Those are really, really pretty. And then next we have 12 by six millimeter silver column metal spacer beads and you get six. I like these, these are cool. I think I've had these once before through them too. Nope, it says six, I got five. That's okay, I'm not gonna be mad about it. So um, <laughs> anyway, so we have these spacers and I did use them all up too when I had them. They were really nice. And look at how big the hole is on them. You guys can do the do these with leather. Um, it would just look really cool too with leather. Then we have six millimeter silver spacer bead. And you get about 30 beads. Okay, so these have a nice large hole too. I like that. That's really good. It kind of really just gives you more options when you have a larger hole, um, different materials that you can use with it. And then last but not least, oh, well, we have the findings pack too, but we'll go through that really quickly, is this pendant. So this pendant is amazing. It is, I love this pendant. Look at how big this pendant is. Tell me that is not super cool. I absolutely love this pendant. We are totally gonna do something with this pendant, you guys. So this is measures 66 by 54 millimeters. So it's a big guy. It's a big one. We are for sure going to do something with that guy. All right, and then in your box, every month you get a findings pack, which I find extremely helpful. So you get some um, memory wire, some beading wire, head pins, ear wires, crimp beads, 
jump rings, the best jump rings known to man, some clasps, and some stretch cord. So every month you get that stuff. And it's really nice because like, even if you're not just starting out, and this, this can be a stash builder too. So not only can you design something really fantastic from this, it's also going to be a stash builder. And then if you are just starting out, well, this gives you like everything you need to create jewelry immediately. The only thing you need are your tools. So guys, so that's all I've got for that. I'm gonna go ahead and get my stuff together and turn this around and we are going to create something really fun. I'll be right back. Okay, everyone. So I pulled a few things aside. I have, we're going to use these little um, purple pearls. We're going to use the white gemstones. We're going to use um, some of the, the, the close and a beads. We're going to use some of these little oval milky beads and some of the bead caps. We're going to use this big guy. I have some of their ear wires pulled out and their findings, my clamshells, because we are going to be putting it on Coriana chain. So let me give you a measurement on how much Coriana chain I cut here. Just so you know how much we're using. All right, so we are using 28 and a half inches of Coriana chain. All right. So I also, you guys have seen me use these noodles. I use them to make my knots, but I think we're gonna use it in this necklace too because it fits really nice on here. Look how nice that looks. So I think that's what we're going to do with that. <clears throat> so I'm just gonna move all this stuff up a little bit so we have room to work. And I am going to put on my tube bead first. So this will at least, you guys can see what else you can use these for besides making knots. <laughs> all right. I haven't used one in a design in probably a couple years, so um, it should be interesting. But I really think it would look cool for this to be just kind of hanging out on top of that. And maybe just kind of, I wonder if it would float around too much. Yeah, maybe it would. See, and I, but I like the way it looks. It just looks really good. Hmm. Well, maybe it wouldn't be too bad. We had it on. Oh, you know what, you guys? It may not work. Darn it. <laughs> I really wanted to use it. Okay. <coughs> oh, excuse me. I'm so sorry, you guys. All right. So let's go ahead and just start beading then. We will um, start off with this purple. That purple is really pretty. And I think it would look really nice right next to that silver. Oh yeah, that looks good. And then let's put this um, spacer on right next to that purple one. Let's maybe go and do one of these white ones. Use another spacer. Let's do another white. Oh, that made me jump. <laughs> my um, my uh, little sun catcher fell off the window, and it scared Lucy, and it scared me. <laughs> um, yeah, let's do three. I'm gonna do three of these. 
And then let's do the same thing on this side. So we're just designing on the fly here. I picked some stuff that I really wanted to use and we're just going to design in the moment and see what we can come up with. I like all the purple and the white in this box. I feel like I don't use like a stark white bead enough. Like I, I really, I think they're kind of underrated, you know? I mean, everyone's like, oh, color, 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 which I agree, I'm all about color. But every now and then, it's just nice to do a nice white bead. So that's what we have so far, and I think that's going to look really pretty. All right, so then where do we go from there? Well, I think we need to do some of these purple ones. Let's do like... I like, I like things in like threes for some reason. I, I think I heard somebody else, it might have been Laura who said that she likes threes as well. I, Laura, if, if you're watching and it was you, tell me that it was you. <laughs> if not, and I don't remember who said it, I'm so sorry, whoever said it. But seriously, you guys, this pendant is gorgeous. And I keep looking at it and thinking, is there something more that I could do with this pendant? All right, so we have that. And I do wanna get a couple of these guys in there um, and save a couple for the earrings. But I don't think I'm quite ready for them yet. I want them to be up a little bit higher on the necklace, like maybe right about here, just to have something that draws your eyes upward um after looking at that so let's put this spacer on and let's do this beautiful oval bead and we're going to do a couple of these oval ones without the spacers in between them A spacer I heard somebody yelling you forgot your spacer Jody I heard you guys I heard you loud and clear there we go all right so let's take a look at this so far oh yeah I'm, I'm gonna like that I'm really gonna like that and I love those purple beads I think it I think it does look just it makes it end up looking like really modern and and like kind of elegant too in a way so let's do our spacers again and let's just do one purple bead followed by another spacer And then let's do, kind of, kind of go backwards here. So let's do, we're gonna use all these ovals on this necklace, but I'm not, I'm not sad about it. I love these. Let's just do these. Okay. So the last two, use them all. All right, so then next we will do a spacer on the other side of these oval beads. Let's 
let's do these beautiful little floral beads here and get it in there oh that's pretty yeah I like it I like them right there so when somebody looks at you they're gonna see this and then their eyes are gonna travel up and they're gonna stop here at these beautiful ornate beads Come on, there we go. <laughs> like, it's gonna go in there. And then we can put a spacer here. And then let's do, since we're kind of going backwards, traveling backwards a little bit, let's do three of the purple ones. Do the same thing on this side. All right. And we're going to use some of these. So we're going to do our spacer. So I did that video, um, different, you know, different closures, you know, with different materials. Um, and I was so happy with the response I got from you guys. I am thrilled. People who, you know, you know, have never done some of those things, are learning new things. People who have done them are getting refreshers about their different options and things that they can do. Um, it was just, it was so cool. So I am so appreciative of um, being asked to do that video because I never would have thought to do it. And I am working on one right now that, um, because somebody had requested, different types of wires for different projects like what do you use um, so I will definitely be working on that and I'll have that ready to go soon because I want to be able to give you nice solid examples um, and and it's not <clears throat> so for the professionals out there who actually work with wire every day would probably disagree with me on some things but I'm gonna give you what I found that works best for me and, and it's in, you know, the same guidelines from learning from other people. So um, I would be giving you that information. All right. I'm going to have to, like, sneeze again. I'll be right back. All right. That one I had warning, so that was good. Okay. So here is our necklace so far. And I think what we're going to do is we're going to get ready to probably end this in a minute. Because we're using Coriana chain, um, we don't need to bead all the way up because you're going to want to leave some of that chain exposed. It's just the beauty of that chain. So let's go ahead and put one more of these spacers and let's end it with a purple pearl. So I got to tell you guys, I have an irrational fear of spiders. Like, horrible arachnophobia. I mean, the worst case of arachnophobia. I I have like almost gotten to a car accident because one dropped down um, from my visor onto my lap. Um, if I'm walking through my house and one drops in front of my face, I freeze and I literally cannot move a muscle. Um, they frighten me so bad. And I wish they did it because, you know, honestly, you guys, a spider is actually a really amazing creature, you know, and I can appreciate um, why God put them here, you know, and seeing their webs like out in, out in, outside, they always amaze me. Like 
they create their homes and their ways to trap and you know get food and they're just they're amazing creatures so I feel bad for being scared of them probably you know probably also because I probably scare the pants off them too but um Anyway, so I'm sitting there this morning minding my own business in my pajamas in my robe with my cat on my lap, drinking my coffee, looking at my phone, trying to answer emails, trying to, you know, just catch up on things. And this spider that was probably that big decided it wanted to come over and say hi to me. And I thought I was going to lose my mind, you guys. I thought I was going to lose it. And I got marmalade off my lap. I jumped up. It was on my robe. I stripped off my robe and I chucked it across the living room and I'm still afraid to go pick up my robe. <laughs> and that would happen this morning. Oh my gosh, you guys. I like, it, it's so terrible. I'm probably going to just have like, maybe have Shane like scoop it up and shake it outside just in case. <laughs> Um, I keep thinking, you guys, that I really want to do something, hang something right here to hang right in the middle. And like I can't stop thinking about it. Let me look real quick and see. Because I just really, oh, that white would almost look really pretty just hanging in there. Because I'm thinking I could do like a shorter like maybe on the back side of it, do like a, small, a short piece of Coriana chain. You know, hold on one second. Let me just, I wanna just see something because I think that would look really cool. I am just gonna see if I have a little scrap here of Coriana chain that I can try something with. I just wanna give something a shot. I think it would I think it would look really cool if there was just something hanging there. Oh my goodness, I have such a mess in here. Okay, here's a short piece. So this is why I save my scraps. Save your scraps, guys, because you never know when you'll need them. That's my little pro tip. Save your scraps. Okay, so now, if we took, hear me out. If it doesn't work out, it doesn't work out. It's quite all right. So I'm not gonna crimp anything down yet, but let's just flip this over. Let's take this little guy. Let's get a crimp, let's get a couple of little crimp beads out. We're gonna need them anyway for our necklace. Excuse me, I'm so sorry you guys. I'm I am like having issues with my allergies again and I don't understand it. Alright, so if we put this tiny little crimp down here to make it act like a stopper. Let's see if I can where is the hole? Ooh. What about one of those? Sorry, I didn't want to cough in your ear. What about one of these? Would this fit in that little spot? It sure would. But the, would that look weird? Uh, I think that would look weird. I don't want to do that. All right, back to what I was doing. Okay, so I have that on there. Now, when you're crimping on Coriana chain, you want to just use your flat players because you're just going to crimp it down. And I'm not going all the way to the end. I'm leaving just a teeny, teeny tiny bit. I don't know if you can even see it. It's that small of the chain sticking out the bottom because you don't want to break your chain when you're <clears throat> squeezing down. We might do our earrings like this too, you guys. I think we might. All right. I think this might work. All right, so then we're going to need one of these little clamshells. And I wanna see where I'm gonna be putting this because 
So if, it, if I need it to hang right there, I'm gonna want my clamshell to come up right about here. All right. So let's get this little, let me trim that little jagged edge off there. So with the clamshells, you put your clamshell on first. Now I wanna just try to picture this again. So it's gonna be, it's gonna have a jump ring. So I think if we went right about here, So if I put crimp it down right here, just like that, test that, trim off some of this chain. Bring our clamshell up. I don't know if this is really gonna work or not, you guys, but if it doesn't, I'm not gonna be sad about it because I'm only using very little material and um, I won't be sad if I have to throw something away. All right, so that hangs from here. I think I want a, don't think these will be too big. Let's try one of these jump rings. And let's just put this on here on the back where nobody will see it and it can just kind of hang. All right, let's flip it over and let's see how it turned out. Whoops, I'm sorry guys. Oh my gosh, you guys, I like that. That looks so cool. Hold on, I'll be right back. Sorry that I've had to pause it so many times. I've had a couple things happening here. All right, so let's go ahead and finish this necklace then, and then we are going to work on our earrings. I am so excited that that worked out. I'm so excited. All right, so we need another clamshell. If I hit this camera one more time, you guys, I am so sorry. Set those aside. Just make sure that our ends are even here. All right. Oh yeah, that is gonna look really cool. All right. Put our clamshell on and our crimp bead. Oh, you know what? I wanted to crimp these down. Hold on, guys. I'm forgetting things. When I when I put stuff on crayon chain, I usually like to crimp at the end of the beads so they don't slide all around. So let's do that first. I got so excited that my idea worked out that I was like, <laughs> I don't know what to do now. So we're just gonna crimp that in place, just so they don't, you know, slide up and down the necklace. All right, now we can put on our crimps and our clamshells. And we're gonna use the whole length of this chain. So let's just put our clamshell on right here. Put our crimp bead on. And remember, when you're using the crimps or the coriander chain, leave a tiny bit of chain sticking out the top just so you don't break your chain. squeeze and now we're gonna hide that whole thing we're gonna hide the the crimp and that little 
little smidgen of chain. Just like that. Let's grab a couple jump rings. Jump ring in. I'm going to use the clasp that they sent. All right. Now, same for this side. All right, guys, here is our necklace. With our little dangle in the middle of the pendant. All right, and now um, I'm gonna go ahead and <clears throat> grab a couple things for the earrings, I'll be right back. Okay, so guys, I have, <clears throat> excuse me, my voice. I have two lengths, um, lengths of uh, Coriana chain. I cut them at three and a half inches each. Um, we have some jump rings. We have our ear wires that came in the box. We have whoop, some crimp beads. All right. And it's a crimp bead. I have my clamshells here for the top of it. And let's just get some beads out. So I said I wanted to use these and I know I'm gonna to wanna to use some white ones and probably a couple spacers just to tie it all together and a couple pearls. And we're gonna just make like a nice simple strand here, okay? So let's go ahead and start with our crimp at the bottom. So we have somewhere for our beads to land. And now we don't need to keep them as long as I cut this. And remember, I will save the scraps because you saw how useful that teeny tiny little scrap came in handy for me. All right, so let's put this white one on. Yeah, that looks nice. And then let's do this beauty. Actually, let's use more of these spacers. A couple more. Let's put a spacer on between those. When you know the other side of the hole is there, <laughs> but you can't find it. That's the only problem with using some of these beads like this is that you have to just keep poking around until you find it. There it goes. Okay, I knew it would just take a second. All right, and then this one, little spacer, and our little purple earring, our little purple bead. Okay, yep, that's gonna be pretty. And see, I might, I think I am yeah, going to trim some of this off because hanging, it's gonna be really long. So I'm gonna trim off, 
want to make sure I'm trimming off the same amount for both sides. So let's, let's be technical about it, shall we? Let's trim off one inch, okay? So I just made a little kink in the chain with my cutters until I could get it picked up and then cut that off. All right, saving that little guy. Or something in the future and then let's put on our clamshell and our crimp and let's squish our crimp down nice little squish And close up our clamshell. Get our ear wire. All right, and there is our one earring. Let's do the same over here. There it goes. Let's get our spacer on there. And then a little purple bead. Let's get our tape measure. Measure out an inch. Grab a hold of that. And cut that right off. There we go. All right, clamshell. Our little crimp bead. Oops. Okay, oh, fix that. <laughs> there we go. All right, so here are our earrings and here is our necklace. I think they turned out really lovely and I am going to try them on for you. I'll be right back. Okay, so for a change, I'm not wearing something crazy and you're gonna actually be able to see my jewelry. Um, so nothing like wearing a plain black shirt when you need it the most. <laughs> All right, so here we go. It's going to be a little bit of a long one, but I'm good with that. All right, get the earrings in so we can get the whole picture. There we 
there's one. Okay, I like the way the earrings turned out for sure. Yeah, I like the way those turned out. And then here's our necklace, stand up. And you know what? I think adding that little bead in the middle really did something to this pendant. Look at that. I could have shortened it just a tiny little bit, but it's okay. I'm okay with it. Just that teeny tiny little bead. All right, guys, I, I had fun with this one. This one was really a lot of fun. I don't do a lot with purple, so it was nice and kind of refreshing that um, we had some purple and white, and I just, I love the way this turned out. I think this turned out so super cool. All right, you guys, I hope you had fun with this box. Remember, if you do wanna join, all the information you need is in my description of this video, which is right below this video. And then just make sure that you use Wendy35 to get 35% off your first box, okay? All right, so much love to you all. If you have any questions or anything, um, please feel free to ask, and I will do my best to make sure I'm on top of the messages. I've been trying a lot harder lately, so I just want to send you all my love and my hugs and my prayers and tell you all to have a great night. Bye, everyone.